Hello, my name is Luke and I'm here to tell you the good stuff, stuff that's going to hopefully make your life a lot easier being an independent music artist. And why am I qualified to speak on this? Well, I've been a professional music producer for eight years, producing many, many artists' records, and I've also been releasing my own music for over two years now, one song every two weeks, which is a lot of music when you think about it. So I have a bit of experience and I'm going to talk to you today about four habits, four things that will be destroying your confidence as an independent music artist. So let's dive right in. The first thing is commitment to the long game. It's as simple as that. When I first started to release music consistently as a music artist, I said to myself, I'm going to go at this for five years. I'm now over two years in. And I'll tell you what, I've seen a lot of really great growth in that time. We're sitting at around 50,000 streams a month and over 20,000 monthly listeners, somewhere around the 20, 25K at the time of recording this video, which is really, really cool. Great metrics, but there's still a long way to go. I promised myself over two years ago that I was going to do this for a minimum of five years and then I would judge where I'm at, see how things are going, then make a decision, Right. It's the long game. And you have to be prepared to give it that because most people overestimate what they can do in six months, but underestimate what they can do in two, three, four, five years because people don't think that far ahead. That's why as an independent artist, if you're looking to make this your thing and you're looking to learn how to make great music, it's a long game, baby. Play it. The second thing is fear of judgment. Um, it's as simple as this everybody will judge you for doing something extraordinary. Anybody ordinary will judge you for doing something extraordinary. To go out on your own terms, start making music, releasing it to the world, trying to be this really prolific music artist, shooting videos, people are going to judge you hard. And they do. And I've had it. I've had so many people judge me and say things about the videos that I create. And don't get me wrong, it's not easy. And there is a fear of that judgment. It's always there. And whenever you go to try new things, that fear of judgment will always be there. But you have to remember the end goal. You have to remember why you're doing this. What are you doing this for? For me, I know that I want to make this my full-time career, certainly as a music artist. I'm actually a full-time music producer anyway, working with plenty of other people and working with brands and stuff. But I'd love for my own music to be the vessel in which... I do full time. I'd love for that to be the reality, um, but it's not. And so because I'm committed to the long game, as in the first point, it helps me alleviate that fear of judgment. Like I don't care what people say. At the end of the day, we're all going to die. This is a bit morbid, I know, but we're all going to die and you'll be forgotten about in years and years and years to come. And then you will be nothing in, in the sort of extravaganza of this universe, right? It, it doesn't mean anything, arguably, in the sense of how much time and space there is to pass and yet to pass. So you might as well just do what you want to do. Give it your all because for the small time, small amount of time we have here, you might as well make it worthwhile. Uh, that's what I think anyway. Third is lack of experimentation. It is really easy to get stuck in your lane and end up staying in your lane. And you've got to try things. It's as simple as that. If you want to be doing this for the long haul and you want to keep your confidence right you've got to try new things simply doing something once and if it doesn't work then packing it in throwing the towel in that's not really the way to go about it you want to adapt you want to try new things i've tried so many different kinds of things to really build my brand as a music artist and i found some things to be very successful and work really well for me other things have been a little bit more shaky in that I wouldn't really do them again. But the point is, I tried, I experimented, and I think that's the main thing. If you don't experiment, you are depriving yourself of an opportunity to learn, grow, and potentially uh, make it, you know, quote unquote, depending on what that looks like for you. So just try things, man. Lack of experimentation. Don't confine yourself to just one thing and leave it there. And then the final thing is, for me, self-doubt. No one's coming to save you. No one's coming to help you. No one is there to cheer you on. Maybe, maybe, maybe you've got a girlfriend or a wife or a partner. Maybe you've got kids. Maybe your mum and dad are really supportive. Maybe your friends are cheering you on from the sideline. But 
it, it matters, but it doesn't. At the end of the day, people who care about you the most, they're going to root for you up to a point because, you know, uh, people do get jealous um, unless they are literally your ride or die. But what I, I guess what I'm saying is it has to come from you. You have to believe in yourself first. It doesn't matter how much faith other people put in you or don't put in you. It has to come from you because the sea that we're riding here, the ocean that we're on is choppy. It's so, so choppy. And you're going to have your ups and then you're going to come crashing down again. And the only thing that will keep you going is your undeniable self-belief, your unwavering self-belief. That no matter what happens, you still think, I've got this, I can do this. And this is a really real point. And this is probably one of the hardest, you know, it took me a, a long time when I first started to truly I mean, I've always believed in myself, but to really feel like I had a proof of concept that like what I was doing was worth it. It took a while to get there, but now even over two years in, and I'm still building this project, I still have little moments of self-doubt because sometimes something doesn't go the way that I want it. It doesn't work out the way that I anticipated. And it's just like, you sort of sit there and go, well, why? Why, why is this happening? You know, should I even bother? And it can just, it can cre creep up on you like that. So it is crucial that no matter what you wake up every morning, you look in that mirror and you say, I have unwavering self-belief in myself. I'm going to be committed to the long game. I'm going to let go of this fear of judgment. I'm going to experiment and try things and I'm going to believe in myself whilst doing it. I believe if you can tackle these four things that will truly build your confidence as an independent music artist. We're all in this together, so let's grow together. If you found this video useful, like, follow, subscribe for more, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.